I'm glad you're here. Thank you very much for joining me. Like, share, and subscribe. Can you see off on the bottom right here? We have um, Beehive. And it's smoking and it's really dirty. Um, the other guys are back over here. Looks dirty as well. They were zoomed in on it. But then they moved the camera for some reason. I don't know why. Maybe because it was so dirty. Yeah, it's a sign that um, the water under the ground is superheated over 2,000 degrees Fahrenheit, which is melting the rock and bringing up the uh, different particles. Look at that. USGS is reporting eight earthquakes today for the last 24 hours. The most recent at 11.03 Universal Time, four miles below sea level. That would be in the upper magma chamber. Um, it was a 0 0.1, right? A 0 0.7, a 0 0.2, another 0 0.7. Yeah, nothing to see, right? Now, the thing I noticed, they are not reporting the earthquakes that are occurring along the sawtooth fault zone. Yeah, you know, the Snake River Plateau. I don't know why they're not doing that. It's currently 11.38 a.m. Central Daylight Time. I downloaded four different monitors. Soda Butte on the left, Maple Creek next to it, Little West Thumb, and this here is the Borehole. Borehole 207 for the Madison River area. And let's bring it down here and see all the earthquakes. Now this is a borehole, a very deep well under the ground, over 600 feet below the surface that a hole's been drilled and the equipment put in. The top has a cover of cement. And let's zoom into it. Okay, so we got a tilt meter here at the top. And let's come down. And we'll come down. Okay, the seismometers for the earthquakes are 661 feet to 663 feet below the ground and then the strain meter so it's not going to be picking up any outside noise whatsoever this earthquake currently is not being reported it comes in as a magnitude 1.92 and i'll bring it down so you can see it there at the bottom it says md 1.92 and let's look at the spectrogram The last earthquake they did report was at 1103 Universal, which would be this earthquake right here. Now, this is Maple Creek right there. There's its spectrogram. They must have a student um, who's probably in their first year of research and studying about earthquakes because this earthquake is actually a magnitude 1.54. Now, this is the last earthquake that they reported. And we have another one shortly after at 1109. Now, that is universal time, which would make it 509 mountain time. I believe they're an hour before my time, which is central daylight time. And it comes in as a magnitude 1.51. And we'll go to the spectrogram. This one not being reported. 12.09 and 10 seconds universal time, which would be uh, 6.29 a.m. their time. There's the signature. There's the spectrogram. Something happened there. And this one comes in as a magnitude 1.71. Here's the other one that I just did at uh, 14.09. Uh, 14.29, excuse me. Um, which would be 8.29 a.m. And it's a 1.92. Let me bring it down. It doesn't matter where you take the reading from. As long as you have the entire seismic signature. And we'll go back to that right there. 
Another one that they're not reporting at 818 Universal Time. This is the borehole. I don't know. It's marked in red. They had a text message sent to them. I don't know why they're not reporting it. Maybe they were still in bed. This one comes in as a magnitude 1.98. There's a signature as it came in at Maple Creek. It also comes in as a magnitude 1.98 and I'll bring it down for you. And we'll go to the seismic signature. 1.98 not being reported. 534 Universal Time. This is the borehole. Borehole 207. Marked in red. They're not. Um, are they reporting it? Let me look. Yeah, but they're off on the time maybe. Or maybe I am. 534. They're saying it's a 0 0.7. That one they did report. All right. 1134. That would have been late last night there at the park. And it comes in as a magnitude... 1.37, not a 0 0.7. Isn't that what they said? A 0 0.7? Yeah, a 0 0.7. Now, once again, this is from the borehole, a very deep well under the ground. All right, I wanted to jump, to jump over to Little West Thumb. And let's look at the seismic signature. We had a whole bunch of popping of the rock and magma that came in through here. Um, 1500 universal time. That would have been 9 a.m. there at the park. And where did I see it? All right, I'll go back to what I was trying to look for here. This is what the file was showing when I, um, I pulled the files earlier. And yeah, look at the heat. Again, this is, uh, West Thumb. Let's just pull it over a little bit. Go over here and there. Let's look at the signature. Yeah, tectonic in movement. Okay, what was I? Oh, right there. I think that's what I wanted to see. Right there. Yep. And then, oh, right there, too. Yeah, at 1333. That would have been 7.30 a.m. today. Yeah, that's what I, I saw. Let's take a look. Oh, look at that. See, it almost, almost, not quite, got so loud that it wouldn't pick up the sound of the magma coming into the system. Look at that. Yeah. Let's go back over here. Yeah, same thing. See that? Yeah. And then earlier, yeah, they actually have blobs of magma coming into the system. You can see the thickening of the lines there. Let's pull it across. Yeah, magma was oozing its way up. We got it there. And we got it there. You can see the heat. Yeah, who knows what the uh, current state of melt is for the rocks. Let's go up a little bit farther kind of a v-shaped signature there let's go to that i want to go to this one right here um this would have been yesterday um zero 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 one minute after midnight which is not being reported i think i see not just yeah see we got volcanic signatures here they're long and deep with rounded tops along with the uh, tectonic signature. All right, I reduced it in size and it comes in as a magnitude 1.82. Let me show you the uh, yeah, spectrogram. Look at that. More than likely there was dike intrusion. Um, West Thumb being there at Yellowstone Lake. You know, they got that crack at the bottom of the lake. And dike intrusion is trying to come up. But yeah, they didn't report this. Yeah, well, it was Sunday. And um, yeah, let me bring it down. Okay, 1.82. I'll bring it down a little bit farther for you. There you go. All right, let's take a look at Soda Butte. There's a lot of popping going on. 
Unless you're on a big screen TV, you probably can't see all the ones marked in red. And I'm just going to jump around and show them all. It's even hard for me to see it on my uh, uh, laptop. I'm trying to find this one. There it is. And we got another one there. Oops. Probably there. Right there. And another one right there. And let's go back up right there. Right there. Let me close this and let's see. Did I show you that one? And then we got that one. Oh, that's interesting. Let's go to the signature. All right, this one's larger down here. Yeah, look at the melt coming up there at Soda Butte. We got two lines of melt. Now remember, Soda Butte is um, kind of northeast of the park. Um, further to the east was where, where they had that um, 4.1, I think it was. Let me look. 4.2. Okay. You know, I've often complained about not having uh, live gas monitors. Well, evidently, they did put in one test monitor um, at Volcano, or Mud Volcano, one little test site to uh, try and figure out if the equipment's going to work right and how well it's going to work to measure four different gases. That's it, four gases. Now, they have a web page. If you click on the image of the uh, multi-gas enclosure on Mount St. Helens, um, yeah, it shows you this. But let me go back. There is the monitor. And they talk about the gases that they're doing at Yellowstone. So why would they post a picture from Mount St. Helens? Now, the four gases that they're reading is HO2, CO2, H2S, and SO2. So that would be hydrogen sulfide, carbon monoxide, um, and sulfur dioxide, and moisture content that's in the air. So they have it at Mud Volcano, and they got this article about Mud, Mud Volcano Trail. Okay. Here at Mud, Mud Volcano, you are close to one of the research and domes. The hills you see to the east of here comprise of Sour Creek Dome. Research and domes are areas of active ground deformation where the land moves up and down. With the fluctuation of mag, the magma chamber before, see they're not saying water. They're saying it goes up and down because of the magma chamber. Now, you would think they would put monitors up there in the Madison River area, you know, where they've been having the earthquake swarms. Oh, no. They're having an area where, yeah, there's been ground deformation. The lake is tipping. Let me make this bigger. Uh, let's see here. And we're supposed to click on this little tiny cloud. And that'll take us to the the web page. It'll open up a web page. And we have air temperature wind speed, uh, water, um, CO2, sulfur dioxide, hydrogen sul sulfide. Okay, so let's go to hydrogen sulfide. Yeah, not much of a change um, for the last, looks like a, almost a month they're showing here. Going up and down. Okay, let's close this out. And when I close it out, I got to click on the darn thing again. Um, CO2, but it says CO2 with H2S ratio, which would be hydrogen sulfide, which is colorless, um, flammable, um, gives you the rot rotten egg smell. It occurs naturally in crude petroleum natural gas, and hot springs. But it doesn't distinguish between the two. The one to uh, monitor CO2 and SO2, well, I guess they don't give a rat's behind because it's not working. You know, when I first got into volcanology, 
um, with um, El Euro eruption there in the Canary Islands. They had monitors that tracked the different gases second by second. Everything was broke down. Um, what CO2, SO2, HO2, uh, yeah, you name it. So why are they putting in a monitor that is half ass and doesn't work properly in a location where it probably doesn't really matter. Why don't they have it over there in the Madison River area? You know, when they had um, the unzipping of the last major eruption, that's where it started. Did a counterclockwise rotation of multiple eruptions, unzipping, going down towards um, Heart Lake when both calderas or both resurgent domes blew. One of the richest countries in the world. We got so much money we can send weapons and money to all these different countries. We can put the man on the moon and we can't get proper monitoring for Yellowstone. We got different tilt meters and temperature monitoring meters uh, that they show, but none of the links work. Yeah, they don't work. They were kind enough to give us this map to supposedly click on stuff. This was recently added, the little cloud. Um, but the other crap don't work. You're supposed to give up, right? Well, I was going to show you the tilt meters, but they're not working. So here we have Steamboat Geyser. Its last eruption was on September 18th. And it had been 89 days, almost 90 days since its last eruption, which was in June. Looks like they're waiting for Old Faithful to erupt. A lot of people there. Um, this morning it was like 30 degrees. Um, if it rained, it would be cold enough to snow. Yeah, winter's coming early. A lot of people, or some people, ask, why am I canning so much? Is it because of Yellowstone? Well, not just that. I'm canning because I really think there's a war coming. And there'll be massive food shortages when that happens. Or, you know, you could have um, earthquakes. You could have floods. Um, it also beats inflation. So it's not just for one disaster that I am preparing for. And I've been preparing for many years. Um, stock market crash. Yeah, I think that's coming. I think we're heading for a depression. Look how long it took them to admit that we're in a recession. Yeah, and they still lie about the uh, cost of inflation. Anyways, that's all I have for you right now. You should be preparing for any of those events. Um, yeah. So what are your thoughts? Please put those comments down below. Thank you very much for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you very much to all of you who have joined me on Patreon or have uh, sent in uh, donations here on YouTube. Wow, thank you. God bless you all. And I'll talk to you later. Take care. Bye.